You've done so well today. Thank you really you. have, genuinely. It's been amazing. Thanks. One of the things I always love about what you do is that you stand so much for female empowerment. You know, that's what Captain Marvel is. That's what you are, you know. Has that been something that's always been close to your heart? It's kind of impossible for it not to just because of my life and my experience and my body and what I've gone through. I've had to trudge through quite a lot and I'm What sort of things? What's, in what sense? Mm, you know, it's, it's a wild one because it's, it still blows my mind at times that sexism exists and that it's still the tip of the iceberg when it comes to discrimination and I still am surprised by the way that I'm spoken to, the way that I'm talked down to, or the opportunities that I'm denied. Really? Do you see that? I do, yeah. Even, even for you when you're at the top of your game? Oh, totally. In you some think ways, it would I feel get like... so much better, but you, you, is no. that not the case? No. I know. I remember when uh, like winning the Oscar, I thought like people would change and things would get easier and I would forget the struggle. It's not the case at all. It's still the same stuff, just, you know, at a different level. So for me, it's about leaving things better than when I got there. Yeah. So if I can just make the road just a little bit smoother for the next generation or help empower them, it's, it's a big deal. I've always been a big dreamer. I've always wanted to change things, and now I feel like I'm just at the point in my career where I, I can make a tangible difference. And I'm really proud of a lot of the stuff that I've been able to achieve, in particular in the last year. Like, wh wh why what happened in the last year? Like, being able to ask for more diversity on movie sets. Uh, those are things that require power, you know. And when you have power, you get to have, like, a couple genie wishes is usually how I like to describe it. It's like you get a couple of, like, ridiculous things. And you could maybe say, like, I got to have an elliptical in my hotel room. Or you can also say, I really want to make sure that our below the line reflects better what the world looks like. So mm. I'm an inclusion writer and I need you to, to hit this mark. That is using your power in a good way. Thank you. How's your mum with all of this? She, she must be so proud. She's super proud, yeah. You know, she's the one that had to drive me to auditions for like a decade, like all day, every day. She was the one that, you know, would get stomach aches with me waiting there if I got a job, would have to put me up, you know, the billions of times that I cried over not getting a job or questioning myself or wondering if I was doing the right thing. So she's had a front row seat to all of it and is really the only person in my life that, besides myself, that really understands, like, what I went through and how I got to where I am and then has also then seen what I've done with it because it's one thing to get to the point where you have some power then it's up to you to decide how you want to use it and that's like really where the work begins honestly. In some ways it's easier when it's up to everybody else to decide things for you but then when you're in control of what yeah. films you're going to make and how they're going to be run and how you're yeah. going to spend your time that's different. And now you see what Brie Larson's really made of. You yeah. Know, once you get that's the thing, you give people power. You see what they, what they stand for. You know, good for you. We'll keep, keep doing good with it. Thanks, Bear. One of the things that's really struck me today is that you give people power or money or fame, it shows what they're really like. You know, it just accentuates who they really are. And I think with her, with her power, has come this determination to spread goodness and to insist on the right things and use her power for good, but then again, that's what superheroes do.